What more can you tell us on this? Well, yes, indeed, uh, according to Somalia's disaster management agency, the Department of Meteorology and also the early warning systems, uh, the rainy season has already started and it's, about, it's, it's expected to affect about 22 districts across the country and impacting about, uh, as you said, uh, about 770, uh, seven, uh, seven, 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 uh, about a million uh, people living in those areas. Well, according to Somali Disaster Management Agency, this uh, experience is coming from what is happening in the region, especially neighboring countries, where flash floods have, uh, you know, uh, have caused havoc, especially in Kenya, in, in Uganda, and in Tanzania, and of course in uh, central regions like uh, Mozambique. So this is giving them uh, some time to prepare uh, so for these uh, flash floods, which in, in previous year have caused uh, havoc uh, and uh, led to death of more than 100 people and uh, you know destruction of uh, unknown property uh, and of course uh, swept away livestock and agriculture uh, in, in, in many parts of the country. So Somalia's disaster management agency say that uh, the rainy system has started and there's need for more caution especially in riverine areas where flash floods have caused uh, some uh, uh, disaster uh, killing people and of course, they are impacting the agricultural sector and of, of course uh, the livestock, which is one of the main, activi main economic activities in this country. Last year, Mohammed, the, uh, well, talking about pre the pre preparations, uh, the upcoming rains follows, of course, last year's floods that claimed hundreds of lives and destroyed property. So what is government and partners doing to make sure lives and property are protected this time around? Yes, uh, the Somalia's Disaster Management Agency, in coordination with the international organizations in the country, especially the UN agencies, they're saying that based on experiences they learned from last year's El Nino flash floods, they are trying to uh, deploy several techniques of trying to mitigate the, uh, the, the, the impact of flooding. This includes uh, the deployment of equipments such as uh, boats in high-risk areas, that is riverine areas, especially in Hiran and also Shabele regions and also in Juba, where the, the, the rivers are, are you know, uh, f causing flash floods. And uh, of course also uh, they, uh, they are saying uh, they, they are, uh, you know, civic education to people living in these areas to relocate to high grounds. And of course, uh, setting aside emergency funding to try and, uh, you know, uh, to try and, 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 and use those fundings for emergency issues. But the UN agency is saying that uh, uh, as they speak right now and as the situation is currently ongoing and rains have started, but uh, no, uh, you know, flash floods, are ex flash floods are expected, the funding, uh, they don't have uh, enough funding to try and deal with uh, those uh, uh, expected situations of flash floods across the country and they're appealing for more funding to, to donors and uh, of course Somali government says that it has learned a lot of uh, lessons from previous uh, 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 disasters such as uh, flooding and this time around they are uh, prepared.